Hi everyone, my name is Edward Mendoza and I wanted to do a series like this because finding information online has been really, really difficult. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. There's a lot of different points, a lot of different questions um, students come to OMS CS um, with. And I feel like until you're in the program, until you spent a couple semesters, until you spent several thousand dollars, you're not gonna really find the, the actual answers. So my purpose for this uh, video series is to give as objective as possible. Obviously, it's impossible to be truly objective, right? I'm not a machine. Instead of spending all this time, effort, energy, money going into trying to pull all this information together, it's like I wanted to literally do a deep dive into each subject that I, I really thought. It's like if someone would have helped me out with this particular area, the entire process was, was going to be much easier. And... Um, I mean, some people might see some of the videos thinking the takeaway is, well, don't get into OMSCS. And other videos, people are gonna think completely the opposite. It's like, well, you're just promoting the school because you know you went to it. And honestly, no, I wanna inform people as much as possible because I think if, if people have the right information before going in, I honestly think the program would get even bigger than it is. Um, but with enough information, <laughs> A lot of people thinking of just doing a dive into it won't waste their time and uh, money and energy. Because uh, I'll be honest, so many people are, are going to uh, get in, gonna get in and, and they're going to fail. They're, they're just not going to make it. It's an extremely difficult program. And most of us, even I included, uh, um, thought before getting into the program, it's like, isn't it easy for people to cheat? I mean, like, what's the value compared to actually a school where people get... No, there's so many reasons, and we're gonna cover those later on. There's so many reasons why getting into the program is, I would say, exponentially harder to cheat or to get you know, any really useful help when you get really stuck. Um, so that's why for me, at the end of this process, I mean, I'm not at the end, I'm, I'm um, towards the middle at this point, but, um, I've learned so much more than when I was working on, on, on my undergraduate. It's it's a different setup altogether. So that's why this um, the series is going to be covering not only the differences that make OMSCS particularly interesting, um, but the differences between graduate studies and uh, undergraduate studies. Um, we're going to be covering that'll be another blog uh, um, video on, on its own, another a video on its own is gonna be specifically on um, what what the GPA is and all this other stuff. And this is also another reason to just get into it and, and start covering these subjects. Because as I'm, as I'm covering more subjects, I'm going to be uh, realizing what other subjects to get into, right? And that one alone, it's like, that that is a big deal. It's like, does your GPA matter? Well. I mean, not necessarily, right? It's like, once you graduate, you graduate. But most people don't realize you have to have a 3.0 and above, otherwise you get kicked out, right? So that one piece alone, okay, well that's, I need to address that because there are certain things that people need to be aware of. And this completely connects to what the overall cost might be for, for most of us. Um, and I am saying most of us, um, what the, uh, the length of time it's gonna take to finish um, like when I first got in, I was assuming it's, I was going to finish you know, really quickly. Um, and between my experiences, um, my life, uh, um, situation, uh, at the time that I started and the preparedness that I didn't have going in, that made a huge deal as well. So th these are all the things that we're going to cover because it is much easier to get into OMS CS than, um, than George Tech itself. Right? It's like, just to get into the online program, you're not even required to get uh, uh, um, the GRE test. So most of these schools that, that I was um, trying to get into before, they would all expect the GRE test to be, uh, um, to be sent in with your application. 
and what their expectations is on on on, uh, on the scores and whatnot. It's I mean that would have been different, but the fact that this one doesn't even require that. It's like that. So the bar of entry is obviously much lower from OMSCS, and that has both good things and bad things, right? Because obviously, if you're just going to get in. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of people there that don't even have the background. And that's another video that we're going to cover, you know, here on a, on a side note, is the easy point of entry is also a problem because people don't realize how difficult the school is. At the level of education here is on par with, it's a top 10 university, right? That's, that's a, another area that people don't understand. They do searches for, uh, for a master's degree. Let me do that now. Do a search for online master's degrees in uh, computer science and worldwide georgia tech is ranking uh number 10. i mean we're outranking harvard for god's sake i mean so many people are, are imagining these big um, name schools to be the best but when it comes to um, graduate degrees i mean there's a reason why so many graduates go into these big name um, companies right like there's a lot of georgia tech students that went through the the graduate's degree for computer science both from OMS CS as well as the, their uh, their on campus um, graduate degree and they end up in these big name companies I'm talking about like the big five right so they really do prepare you to the core it's it, overall it is a, a great education that's why it's like I just want to inform people so people don't waste a lot of time, uh, money and energy because if, if you're not ready and you can even be not ready when you go in. And I mean, this is a long program if, if you want it to be. And honestly, I wanted it to be, I, I wasn't in a rush for me. It was the actual education. I wanted to think like a computer, uh, um, science engineer. I didn't want to get out of this. Like, Oh, I can throw in some code and, and, and get some, uh, some interesting output. It's like, that's, that's how I got into computer science. Um, to begin with, right? It's like I already developed automated software without really understanding the engineering background of it. So this has been really helpful for me. So had I gone to the on-campus um, education, would I have learned as much? I have no idea. I think I would have been really thrown back by the difficulty level. And again, we're going to get into cost because the cost part of it is, for me, that was the biggest uh, um, deal maker really because had i spent this amount of time in the on campus i would be owing literally 10 times the amount that i'm that i'm owing now and not having a completed degree either so that's 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 a, that's the frightening part about getting into one of these degree plans which i think that's why they're also so selective because they know the majority of people aren't going to make it i mean if i have to look at the stats again but i believe the statistic is somewhere over 60 or 60 or 65 percent of students end up dropping out from this program the majority so i mean the majority of people are not making it right and there's different reasons for that we're also going to cover that in other videos because out of all the reasons why to get into an education of, of, of this level um some people don't even know if they really want a program if you don't know if you're not really even sure that you want to code this is a great way to figure that out i mean you don't even need this particular school, right? You can just work on it online and um, do a couple of certificate programs, right? Or you can do a couple of Udemy classes. You can do, you know, Coursera. There's other ways of doing it in, in, um, in a more insightful way that's not that expensive. But the important thing to me is it's, you know, you're getting a master's degree, right? It's like we all have a certain stigma attached to that, getting a higher degree, getting something that you know was difficult and knowing that a lot of people are just not making it through. So it's like all of that, those issues combined, I think make a very unique experience that um, has definitely changed the way I think of, not only of programming uh, and computer science in, in general, but just other areas of my life now. That's like, I, I see it from a different perspective. And I can honestly say it's been a highly worthwhile endeavor so there's going to be videos i'm going to be making that you might think it's like i'm trying to deter people away from the um this education 
but that's, that's not really my case. I just want people to be informed because had I been as informed as I am now, the entire ride would have been much easier. I still would have been going where, uh, where I'm going and I'd still be on, on, uh, on this path, but it would have been much easier. And there was times where I really felt like just giving up because I didn't have that help. So hopefully I can uh, help you guys on with your, um, guys or girls, <laughs> with uh, this path and lots of the shortcomings that a lot of us that have gone through the program or are going through the program or decided to even quit on the program have gone through. Having more information, this would have been much easier. So hope it helps. Mm -hmm.